Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be discussing how to write a VLOOKUP between multiple worksheets and multiple workbooks. If you came from our VLOOKUP exercise, we walk through how to pull in descriptive information for a subsection of your employees utilizing a VLOOKUP. This information was all on the same worksheet, but how would you do this if your lookup table was on a different worksheet? If we want to reference a different worksheet in Excel, all we need to do is toggle between the different tabs. So the tabs are on the bottom of your file and you can toggle between them by either clicking on them or the shortcut control page up page down will let you toggle through your tabs very quickly. So if I want to use a VLOOKUP, I can write equals VLOOKUP. What will be my lookup value? That is the employee number in my table. I'll lock that in its column leave the row flexible. What is my table array? That is going to be on my reference sheet. So if I use control page down, I can scroll over to my reference sheet and then I can select this full table. F4 to lock that in place. What is my column index number? I want to return the employee name. So if I put two and then I'll put false for an exact match and hit enter. And now you can see on this sheet, we have our employee name filled in. What Excel has done is in this formula, it's written the worksheet name that this formula is referring to. So VLOOKUP reference sheet. If I were to change the name of this sheet to VLOOKUP reference sheet two, you can see Excel has changed this formula reference in the derivative formula. Excel is smart enough to make sure your formulas don't get messed up just because you changed the name of a worksheet. The same thing as in our other exercise, if we wanted to drag this over to our right, we could drag it over, change this column number to three, and fill in the rest of our table very easily. You can also reference VLOOKUPs across multiple workbooks. These two sheets are in the same workbook. If you have another workbook, which is your VLOOKUP reference workbook, what you can do is you could write equals your lookup value, which will be your employee number, and then toggle over to that workbook and select your table array. F4 will lock that in place, and then column index number for this one, we want four, and then we want an exact match. This has pulled in the information from a completely separate workbook. Excel has used brackets to identify the workbook this formula is referring to, the worksheet it is on, and then ultimately the cell range that is your table array. I would advise you to not reference different workbooks as if you close this workbook or send this file to someone else, this formula will break. You're better off pulling in the reference and referring to it on another worksheet rather than referring to another workbook. <music>